real true. Hey, hey, what up, set? What up, set? Yo, what's up, everyone? This is VC V Sips. Welcome to a brand new video. Monster Hunter Rise is 2021's potential possible game of the year. Monster Hunter Rise is game of the year material, and I want to talk about it. So if you guys are excited, make sure you guys smash that like button. And don't forget to also subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a single upload or live stream on the channel. But without further ado, let's get started. Because make sure you subscribe, notifications don't go out often. But also, we only have 50% of people subscribed, 45% not subscribed. So make sure you're subscribed if you enjoyed today's content and all the content provided on the channel. But without further ado, let's get started. Monster Hunter Rise is Game of the Year material. I've been playing Monster Hunter Rise all weekend. Monster Hunter Rise released on Thursday night at about midnight. And I didn't get the game until the next day on Friday afternoon. By the time I started playing the game, it was midnight after Friday. And today, at the time of my recording of this video, it is Monday morning. EST and man. I have almost 24 hours played in monster hunter rise already i already almost have 24 hours now let me talk to you guys about how i already have this much time already why i have this much time already and how and why monster hunter rise is 2021 game of the year material monster hunter rise is addicting it's a really in-depth action-filled jrbg that many people still have not sunk their teeth into for those who may not know much about the monster hunter franchise it's been a franchise that's been around for a long time most predominantly on nintendo platforms until monster hunter world released when monster hunter world released it actually sold very well i think about 14 to 15 million copies and that's of course on multiple platforms playstation xbox pc and across all those platforms, they accumulated so many units that it made Monster Hunter as a franchise much more mainstream thanks to Monster Hunter World. Now, with Monster Hunter Rise, it's currently Switch exclusive and coming to PC potentially later this year or next year. However, it is already confirmed that Capcom had shipped out 4 million units of the game. So just imagine digitally included. This game easily has already hit 5 million units in the first week, which is similar to Monster Hunter World, which also shipped about the same amount. But I think that's including physical and digital. This is a totally different scenario almost, but sort of similar at the same time. Because Monster Hunter and Monster Hunter Rise specifically is what's breaking them not just into the mainstream again, but making Monster Hunter as a brand recognized worldwide. Many people are going to now know Monster Hunter thanks to Monster Hunter Rise. And the gameplay is a lot of fun. It's so addicting to go and play, go into each of the various areas, whether it's the swamp area, the lava and water cavern area. There's so many beautiful locales because this game is the best looking third party game on the Switch. Without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt it uses the re engine and capcom did a phenomenal job making the re engine work fluidly as well because the game looks beautiful and the game plays beautifully whether you're playing single player and or multiplayer multiplayer has a seamless online mode to the point where it makes you forget that you're using nintendo switch online for the online multiplayer it's ridiculously smooth because before monster hunter rise there wasn't really as many games that i would say best utilize the switch online like i would say most of the time luigi's mansion 3 if any of you have played multiplayer games on the switch luigi's mansion 3 actually has the best connectivity out of all of them compared to smash bros compared to splatoon compared to mario kart i would say luigi's mansion 3 but now if you're including third party games with multiplayer if you're including that into the mix Monster Hunter Rise has definitively the best multiplayer play out of any game on the Switch that utilizes Switch Online. It's insanely smooth, 
and the battles that you do against all the various monsters in game the way you'd collect the various dongos to help boost your stats for whatever mission and or quest you're about to go on it's insanely in-depth it's a lot of fun as well it's great to play with friends that's my favorite way to play monster hunter because that way you can have your friends come together to help out when taking down various hunts for monsters like a kezu or a magnamalo or one that i've been fighting a lot the gas harag i've been fighting the gas harag a lot lately <laughs> but uh you can play this game single player if you're not interested in the multiplayer Single player is still a lot of fun, especially in Monster Hunter Rise. They did make a dedicated single player where you work on village quests. And those village quests can be a lot of fun. Just the only thing is that when, when you're facing bosses, they can still be pretty tough, even by yourself. Whether you're doing village quests or if you're doing hub quests by yourself. So, if you're playing single player, just expect the bosses to be, in my opinion, harder to handle than if you would have a group of friends and hunters along your side to take care of them, to take those monsters down after hunting them out in Monster Hunter Rise. This game is awesome. There's going to be some future updates that are free coming to Monster Hunter Rise as well as soon as next month in April, which is just a few days. So that is exciting. Monster Hunter Rise is 2021 Game of the Year material you guys need to pick up the game today, right now. If you guys are watching this and you're listening to me speak and you're still here, please buy Monster Hunter Rise. Buy Monster Hunter Rise. It is possibly, potentially, 2021 Game of the Year material. Thank you all so much for watching this video. It's my first video back in a little while. For many of you who have seen some recent streams and seen me talk a little bit on Twitter and stuff, I've been going through a lot. So make sure you guys show some love and show some hype and support if you enjoyed today's video and my return back into making video content all over again by smashing that like button. And don't forget, if you're new to the channel, to please hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit subscribe and to hit that notification bell so you can get notifications for every video upload and or live stream and a chance to reach 2,000 subscribers because we need to hit 2,000 subs. We're so close. 45% of people are not subscribed, so please subscribe. And don't forget, becoming a member of our community helps as well, and you get a ton of perks and benefits for being a member. Let's go join up on the 100% click, become a member for tons of perks and benefits, a badge next to your name, emotes, an amazing Discord community that you can be a part of, and more. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time. Peace. Test me, I'll be too fast, cause I...